Well, hey folks, BC7 here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Farm Sim 19. Yes, indeed. Oh, and, uh, yeah, Richie though. <laughs> Just in case you thought after a hundred or so episodes we'd gone somewhere else. Alright, there we go. And today, well, I'm going to start by grabbing a couple more pallets from over the sheepish area. So let's switch over to our palate forks. do hope everyone is doing well, and by doing well, I mean I hope you haven't got the freaking plague. So, haven't uh, really chatted much about that current world event here on the channel. Um, uh, well... For a couple of reasons. One, I think it's, uh, you know, there's certainly better places to uh, find out about it than listening to me. But uh, as far as a local pers perspective, there's uh, the only one probably here that would have a local perspective on, in fact, I'm the only one that's local. Uh, yeah. I was uh, at our main grocery store this morning and uh, well one of two actually I just don't actually shop at the other one so there you go but uh, they now have uh, a deal where although the actual mall that the uh, grocery store is in is on reduced hours whereas they used to be like whatever you know nine to six or whatever and later on fridays they're now only open from uh, i believe 11 a.m to 4 p.m five days a week or something like that but the grocery stores themselves of course being essential service are still open every day um, and whereas it used to be open from 7 a.m. to whatever time in the evening, they still are, but they've uh, now made it so they're allowing seniors and um, people with disabilities, whoa, that was close, <laughs> to, uh, and I don't know why I went all the way out here, to go in from 7 a.m. to 8 a.m., and then the rest of the world after that. But, uh, this just happened to be the day now. I don't actually get pension checks until the middle of next week. So I went and chatted with my brother. Because he gets paid at a different time than I do. And just made a deal with him where we swapped the little cash. So that I don't have to uh, try and go in there on pension day when... They've got this senior special thing going on, and no doubt the shelves will be pretty much cleared. But, uh, yeah, so I was there when they opened at 7 o'clock this morning. There's already a lot of empty, empty shelves. And although there are stocks and stuff coming, problem is, every single item in this town is brought in. You know what I mean? You can't just drive somewhere else every single item is brought in by truck on a ferry so they're already talking about reducing uh, the amount of ferry runs which makes sense because people are traveling and they are as much as they are a way for trucks to reach isolated spots like where I live they're also mainly a passenger service to move people around Whoa, a little bouncy. So, if it reaches a point, now they're a fairly large vessel. I just realized I can't tell if traffic's coming. It's not good. They're a fairly large vessel. So, they take a fair bunch of people to get them from point A to point B. If they can't assemble a crew, the boat don't run. 
you know, essential service or not, isolated communities or not, if they can't assemble a crew that meets the minimum standard, they won't run. And that means nothing comes in. So they've already sort of started quantifying what their, you know, priorities are for... Whoa, we almost flipped over backwards. Priorities are for shipments, i.e., the part of the store that I shop in more than anywhere else, the bulk foods, um, where you can get all your dry goods, because I make everything from scratch. Uh, and that's nothing to do with this latest, latest uh, COVID-19. That's just me. Whoa! <laughs> I'm thinking a little bit smaller weight in the back might have been a good choice. Um... So yeah, it's uh, it's a scary thing. I find it's a little bit hard to concentrate on things as yeah, nicely done. the The front end is a wee bit light on this. I definitely uh, what the heck have I got for a weight on here? Thirty three hundred kilogram? Are you serious? Have you seen this tractor? Good. What a horse, man. That's for that tractor over there. 3,300 kilograms. Unreal. The, uh... Now, luckily enough, they have declared that, uh... Pet food stores are essential services. So, the, uh, the change they've done there for us is that, uh... We have basically one, unless you count what you buy at supermarkets or Walmart. Um, we have sort of one... Oh, <laughs> there I go. Yeah. We're not actually using manual <laughs> attach in FS19. Um, we have one, and they've got it now so that uh, they're only allowing two people at a time into the store. And reduced hours, of course, because, you know... You don't want to be putting your staff through, most of whom are making minimum wage or only slightly above. You know, they're just going to go, well, screw you. I'm not going to risk my life and my health to come in and sell somebody cat food. But, uh, so yeah, things are definitely uh, ramping up. But it's, um, like I say, the fact that we are so isolated, although it is good in one sense because we can really flatten the curve just by saying, all right, nobody that's, you know, nobody in, nobody out. Mm -hmm. And see how that goes. The other issue is, of course, although we do have a hospital, we do have very limited uh, resources. I believe we have four respirator units or something, all told. Why is that uh, so high? Interesting. So that end of it, I mean, it kind of balances out. I know that uh, my brother has arranged with his ex-wife to have the kids come up. They'll be here in a couple of days because they live down on the Lower Mainland where, you know, you're going to see... Uh, I mean, they, they've been out of school for whatever it is, 10 days, 12 days now, and they've been isolated at home for the last at least week. So, as long as they can make the trip up here and stay healthy, this is probably a better place for them. <coughs> but we'll see how it goes. But yeah, it's, um... That's a scary situation, you know? The, uh, he said one of the more frightening things is that people that are in places like Italy and now the UK, um, New York, when you look past everything else they've got to say, there is one common thread, and that is, you know, don't wait ent any longer, don't wait until they tell you to, don't wait until they lock the city down, self-isolate. You know, and it is good advice. 
it is definitely good advice. Well, we almost flung the bit. Well, okay, almost flung the bales off the front, but I didn't do a giant wheelie at the bottom of the hill. <laughs> so I guess that's an improvement. Okay, any traffic? Ooh, there is, but we can make it. There we go. Now I believe the only other thing we needed here is boxes. Oh, pallets. Hmm. All right. Well, that's all right. Let's go and see how that's doing, shall we? Oh, I forgot to do something. Just a sec here while we use the magic of a teleportation to find you. Oh, you're done. All right, well, back we go then. That's fine. All we needed to know. Having fun? <laughs> all right, let's go back to the farm. So let's bring some pallets here. Because Lord knows, as hard as it is to get toilet paper these days, that diaper factory needs to get up and running. <laughs> yeah, our shelves were uh, not quite bare this morning. But uh, that wasn't what I was there hunting for. I was there to stock up on my rice and a couple of other dry goods and make sure that I have enough kitty food to get me through for at least a couple of months. And we'll go from there. We have, uh, we do have one really nice advantage, and, uh, I learned that it could be done years and years ago. We live near a huge number of rivers, lakes, and, of course, if all else fails, there's that whole ocean thing. So, protein is abundant, you know, um, and anybody living here has a pretty darn good idea of what to look for you know what I mean like so there is that end of thing and as long as you've got you know a little something to back it up all is good you know so yeah I uh, packed in a 10k sack of rice Still a little early to get animals in, I think. But yeah, I packed in a 10k sack of rice, and if things get out of hand and we start running out of supplies... Yeah. Down to the water I go. So there is that. This is a very resource-rich area. I mean, I live on the... A mile away from the ocean in the uh, most resource-rich province in the country, so... That's, uh, we actually used to laugh when there was one season of Survivor where they were actually dropping them off on the west coast here somewhere. And these guys were whining and complaining and carrying on and we were like, Dude, we do that for fun. <laughs> you know? <laughs> All right. Uh, lumber, okay, you're out of lumber. How are you doing for pallets? All right, we should be pretty good. So let's grab us some pallets. Pallets, there you are. Uh, what's the max? You can give me 20. Wow. Um, yeah, I might need some elsewhere, so I'll take half. Thanks. All right. Now we're going to grab some pallets of pallets. Yes, indeed. Oh, yeah, we got room to turn around in here. How are you doing? You're doing full production. Excellent. That means we can start to get some food facilities going here pretty quick. Oops. Not like that, we won't. Somebody left this dang tractor in the way. There we are. We just had to give a little nudge. <laughs> All right, load them up, boys. Very nice. <clears throat> so, yeah, I will uh, be doing exactly that from uh, this day forward. It'll be a 
a state of self-isolation. Which, to be honest, isn't that far from my normal state anyway. And one of the other nice things about this area is the fact that you don't have to stay indoors to self-isolate. You know what I mean? Like, you, if, you, if you go outside, you have to make an effort to find other people on a normal day. <laughs> you know, leave alone when people are purposely staying home. Yeah, you know, unless you go to the mall or you go right into the, you know, the heart of town or whatever. Yeah. I could easily walk out my door and spend the entire day wandering around and not see anybody else. So, we do have that. Not to mention, if you do go outside, it's absolutely beautiful. This is one of the nicest places in the universe, for heaven's sakes. Alright, so... Here we go. We're gonna have this thing running. Let's pick a side. That's the side we want. There's that yellow light. There's that get off of me yellow light. Excellent. We're producing diapers. <laughs> Alright, so what else do we need to... Oh, I know what we need to do. We need to empty our combine and get her home. Well, that's good. Didn't take us too long to get that factory running. I don't know how much production they'll be able to do at the uh, rate our sheep are popping out the woolies. I think that's all of, what, four pallets of wool we've been able to deliver? I mean, not that we'll be firing up any more cotton until we get some replanted, but that's a good start. take this back over to the industrial area and then we'll find ourselves a truck. Although to be honest with you, it'd be almost as fast to just bring the combine back and empty it when I get home. In fact, I think we may do it that way. just to do with that. Oh, look. But there's a truck right there, man. <laughs> well, in that case. Do, 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 do. Oh. You empty? You are. That's a beautiful thing, man. Well, I guess we'll have straw to pick up as well, which is good. Which is good indeed. No, I think it was what? Way up the next set, I do believe. <laughs> I think they kind of overdid the diamond tufting in this thing, you know? <laughs> I mean,. It was an okay style in its time, but wow. It's like right down to the door panels. Okay. Ah, there it is. In the furthest corner from where we access. First time for everything, eh? <laughs> yeah, let's just get there. Bump, bump. Out. Actually, let's do this the easy way. Oh, 
Let's bring the harvester to you. That's it's not going very well, is it? No. <laughs> that train a little bit stuttery there yeah so yeah I know a lot of you uh, live in the UK so I really do hope that you are uh, currently practicing that. Uh, staying home, staying safe if you can. Um, yeah, I guess we've got her, eh? I know that uh, Canada has got a pretty good policy put into place now for people that are working if they do have to stay home due to this thing that they will uh, not have to wait that terribly long to get compensated. So, I hope that any of you that are in that boat, that are my across the pond friends there, that you do have that opportunity, and that when you uh, self-isolate, it's not going to uh, put too much of a burden on you. Because, yeah, that's... Uh, That's the important bit these days. Just don't end up being one of those red numbers in the news report. I don't know. The whole thing is rather incredibly disturbing. I think more so because, well, personally, I voted for a zombie apocalypse, right? I figured, yeah, if we're going to go out, at least let us go out with a bang. You know, we've all been practicing for the zombie apocalypse for decades. But, uh, yeah, I guess if we're going to go out with a whimper, we're going to go out with a whimper. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hey, look at that. <laughs> My header just passed me on the highway. Yeah, there's something a farmer never wants to have to put up with it. Watching their header go come up beside them as they look out the window of their harvester. Yeah. I can choose to manage you. This is such a good spot to park up the harvesters, I must say. Now, I wonder how long it'll take for me to get back to the truck. Here we go. Excellent, excellent. There we are. How'd we do, anyway? Wow. 361,000 liter of rye. That's gonna push us pretty good. We'll have to uh, see if there's a beer factory around. And I see the uh, rather amazing author of this map, Oldman 102, is uh, spending a lot of time working on the new map. A lot of anxious people going, yeah, I'm going to jump on that one. Good to see, and we will, of course, as I've said, tackling that when it's available. <coughs> Excuse me. What, dude? <laughs> Way to run through the intersection, man. That's how accidents happen. Because I chase you down and run over your car with my big truck, and then I call it an accident. Yeah, it's how accidents happen. 
Oh, right. Right, hey. That's a nice chunk of it. Beautiful. And I guess with that, our next project is going to be... Um, go and grab that straw. I think I'm going to fetch that weight onto this guy. We'll get a smaller one for that other tractor. That's just a bit much, you know? Alright. Let's go get our suck it trailer. get there and back. I'm just glancing down at the speedo and happened to notice. Oh, yeah. Under half a tank, eh? Yeah, yeah of course, that's an... Uh, <laughs> it's one thing that's always been an issue in this town. We're currently paying 50 cents a liter more than they are over on Vancouver Island, which is 23 miles from here. But again, you have to pick a ferry that costs you $100 to get there. But, uh, yeah, they've been overcharging for our gas here for years. But it is another one of those things. What are you doing, buddy? You gonna go buy a straw? Come on, it's just a fancy way of getting to the other end of the field, man. Don't you know nothing about farming? That's why we only have to cross the train tracks twice, once illegally. There we go. <laughs> yeah, they're uh, same thing. If they ever decide to shut the ferry down, that's it. The fuel pumps here will be drained in a matter of a day. Now, again, I'm not that concerned, to be honest with you. I've got just over a half a tank of fuel in my car. It gets incredible mileage, and, uh, well, more than enough to get me out to uh, the ocean a couple of times should I need to uh, take advantage of the free food. So, that's another nice thing about having kitties as well. If it comes to that, they'll be as uh, happy for the free protein from the sea as everyone else. But there you be. Like I said, I haven't really uh, had much to say about it on the channel. I imagine as it becomes uh, more and more of a day-to-day -day part of our lives, we'll have a little more to say on it. And, uh, well, I'm going to call the episode here. But as always, guys, stay healthy. Stay home if you can. Um, if you have to go out, make sure you wear gloves. You know, and then, uh, well, you know how it is. Take care of each other, and ciao for now.